Welcome to this Heart Classic song, What About Love? I've always enjoyed this song. Maybe it's mushy, maybe it's whatever, but you know, you gotta love Heart. Those girls kick it out and they have a great band. God bless them. Um, so the song starts out, you got your keyboards coming in and then quietly, so I'm using my rhythm pickup with the volume turned down to about two and we're going to go into a D minor to a B flat to an F and then a C and we'll repeat then we go to D minor B flat alright F flat through your heart and then there's a pause and then they go you've been hiding and this is when the guitars really kick in so you want to continue that rhythm you've just got more dirt so I'm going down to my uh, bridge pickup so what you can do is you play your D minor to B flat and then do a chuck it. So it's a down up and then an F. Alright, now I'll have my notes and I'll upload them so you can follow along and uh, you know have something to go by. So it'll be the link will be below the video. Alright, so after they go into the um, You've been hiding with the guitar kicking in to B F to C. Now we're going to go to our D minor to B F. So there's a little lick in there that takes you to the D after you play the C. And what they end up doing is they're playing the D note when they're playing the D minor chord. So that lick, again, it's in my notes. We're going to slide into the fifth fret on the fourth string. Go to three and two. And then end up on that D note on the fifth string at the fifth fret. And then just go right back to your B flat. And then your F and C. Alright, so that gives you the, the verse and the lick. Now we'll cover the chorus next. So for the chorus, what we're doing basically, I'll just show you the full chords. F to B flat and C. And then we're going to do a C. C7th by adding our pinky on the 6th um, fret of the 2nd string and pulling it off back to a C. Alright, now the F I'm playing is a little bit too bassy. Okay, so you don't want to play that F. You're going to play the F on the octave. So the octave is on the fourth string at the third fret. We got F here. That's an F there. So we're going to play an F chord here. So we're on the fourth string at the third fret, the third string at the fifth fret, and you can add your pinky down on the. Uh, second string at six now what you want to do is even though that's an F you want to add the um, C note so it'll be a C over F See how that C adds a little bit more 
fullness to the chord because that C is part of an F. There it is, but we're playing it as our root note. So for the chorus, we'll call it F4, meaning the fourth root over C. We're using a C note. to your B flat. All right, and then to C, and then back to B flat. And then to a D minor. So that's your chorus. But when they go into the solo, the solo section, we've got the verse and the chorus down, but the solo section is B flat to C, They'll do that three times. And then a D minor to C. there'll be a final lick and then they're back into the chorus. The outro is just D minor um, and I'm pretty sure she's playing it at the fifth root note. And she's just strumming on a D minor. So that's the outro. All right, here's the first section of the lead at speed and then we'll slow it down and I'll show you what we're doing. The first part of the lead, we're going to hit the 13th fret of the second string three times. Then we hit it twice, and then 15 on the first string, back to the second string twice. Alright, and you want to just, it's one motion. Just let those strings ring, and then what you're going to do is slide up to 14, and then hit 13 to 15. Then you're going to take 13, slide back to 11, and then you'll take the um, 8th fret, slide that up to 10, and then hit 12. Okay, so what we have so far is this. One, two, three. All right, the next part of it is we're going to slide into the seventh fret of the fourth string. And then we'll hit um, five on the third string to seven with a bend. Then you'll hit it again with another uh, like and bend that up. And then you'll hit it again and bend it further. Then release it. And then you're going to do a five to seven pull off to three. So we have this. Then what you'll do is slide up to seven on the fourth string and hit the third string from five to seven with a bend up. Then another hit and bend and release. And then what you're going to do is hit five to seven with a hammer on and pull off to three. So 
let's take what we've learned so far. We'll start from the beginning and uh, continue on. We'll do it slowly. One, two, three, four. <laughs> take the whole first part of the solo together slowly. One, two, three, four. that whole first section down. Now what he does after that is he grabs some octaves and we're going to be playing on the fourth string at the third fret and the second string at the sixth fret and we'll move that up a step and then another step so we're going from C All right, so we have this. The last part of the solo uh, should sound like this. We come into the octave. So after the octave part, what we're going to do is go to the 10th fret of the 2nd string, hit 13, and then we'll hit 13 and bend it up with a slight uh, silent release. Then 10 to 13, and then 12 on the 3rd string with a bend and release to 10 and then we'll hit 12 on the 4 string twice. Little, it's an arpeggio, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to slide in on the 4th string to the 12th fret, hit the 3rd string at 12, to 13 on the 2nd string, Back to 12 on the 3rd, 13 on the 2nd, 12 on the 1st, 15, and then back to 12 and 15. So we, the arpeggio sounds like this. So the whole solo slowly will sound like this. solo and like I said they go out with the D minor and that's the whole song so I really hope you enjoy like I said I'll upload my notes so you can learn the licks that I'm teaching you along with the tab and uh, I hope you enjoy